But if it if it is not your question, then you are telling a lie. <laughs> what is that question? Question is so simple. How long we should continue to learn Eastern West? Ah, Sophie says yes. At least Sophie says she is truthful here. <laughs> so I have a counter question. What is that counter question? And that is the answer of the first question. The first question is how long we will continue to learn what it takes me to learn everything of the Eastern wisdom. So the counter question has an answer. What is that counter question? How many times last week? How many locations last week? How many relations last week? You were upset, got anxious, reacted. If you did not react, you were not upset. One is that you reacted verbally. We are fairly, you know, clever and intelligent people. We try to hold and control. So we do not physically assault someone. But internally, emotionally and mentally, we are burning inside. So my question, counter question is the answer. How many times, in how many locations, in how many relations you experienced being upset, being anxious, blamed and complained the world outside, that is the answer. Once that is gone forever, you have learnt everything of the Eastern West. Then you enjoy the session, you attend the session just for the joy, to reaffirm, to reconfirm what you have learned is being realized in thought, speech and action. Did you get an answer? So don't answer me how many times you were upset. Sometimes, no, we get upset by the thought and the feeling inside and we hide it. Sometimes we verbally react and we expose ourselves and we are fairly intelligent and clever people. We don't want to physically assault anyone in a normal society. <clears throat> don't answer me how many times it happened to you last week. So that is because of the ignorance of the mind. The ignorance is the impurity, whether you say impurity or delusion or ignorance or that you get carried away. The mind got carried away because of those, that ignorance. <clears throat> Clear? So it is good point. Every day when you wake up in the morning and when before retiring to the bed, ask this question to yourself. How many times I reacted, got upset, even a slight sense of reaction to my honey or to any people in any location at any time? The world consists of only three aspects. The time, space means location, and uh, people and relations and positions. 
So when I interact with the word, it creates an event. This is an event. We are having a virtual session. You are there, I am here at a particular time, at a particular location and particular subject. This is an event. So, so the mind perceives the event from in the entire life, from the waking state till we retire to the bed. Are you clear? Say yes. Oh, just after the session, uh, John will meet Sophie, Sophie will meet John. So that is also an event. Anne will go somewhere, or Mead will think of something. So every moment that is. So in that event, the mind is calm, smooth, relaxed, easy, aware, and takes the right decision. Do not invite any conflict upset, anxious, reaction, you have learnt everything of the Eastern wisdom. That is the word. <clears throat> I made it simple. Ah, is it so simple? Yes. And if not, then continue learning. <laughs> <laughs> then continue learning. So, a single day, can you imagine? A single day from the waking state until you sleep passes completely in calmness, in peace, in self-awareness. What is that state? That is the state of mindfulness. That is the state of self-fulfillment. Otherwise, not only reaction, but upset, anxious, frustration, fear, and once you talk of the fear, then we have the fear of so many things. Relationship. Okay, I'm good. I have to tolerate. I have to endure. Everything is okay. Let me continue. But you are already upset. <laughs> so every time you have to ask this question. Now question comes that why the mind in the current state cannot end this? And that is what we discussed last time. It is because of the impurity of the mind, whether you see impurity or ignorance. No, other is responsible for my uh, anger. Yes, so situation created an anger in you. That is a greater ignorance. Was it your mind or other's mind? Why you did not take over the minds? Why you did not dictate over the mind? Why the mind dictated over you? Did you get it? And that demands a level of self-awareness. Self-awareness is the beginning of the Eastern wisdom. And the self-awareness is the end of the bit. But why we lack self-awareness? Again, go back to the ignorance because of the impurity, because the delusion is created by the mind. And then the mind takes over us. When the mind takes over us, we have an animal reaction. Animal mind is impulsive reaction, so we react. So do we realize the current state of the mind is working on us? We need to work on the mind. I'm not asking you to say yes or no. That depends on you. Think in your mind only. So the current state of the mind 
contains, has accumulated, has created an emotional dependence, emotional bondage, and that causes the anxiety, reaction, duality, conflict, fear, frustration, jealousy, hatred, comparison, etc., etc. And when these things are present in the mind, obviously, our reaction to the world outside, to the relations outside, to the time outside will definitely be not in the state of calmness and peace. Am I right? Say yes. So if I'm right, it means we have to work on <clears throat> our mind so that we become a qualified seeker to discover that real self which we have been talking about. The real self is of the nature of peace, happiness, love, wisdom. <clears throat> So in that context, we also discussed the highway. We compare the highway with the mental highway, the lane number one, unwanted, unwelcome thoughts. Lane number two is the intellect and the knowledge, the level of self-awareness. We separate ourselves what is going on in the lane one. If I do not separate what is going on in the lane number one, then I remember <coughs> what Buddha says, the world is suffering. So when I am aware of the lane number two, it means I discern, I separate myself, I recognize the cause of the suffering is the lane number one. I have already explained. Lane number <coughs> one and two. So everything. Situation is not responsible for our stress and suffering. It is how my mind receives that situation. Gives the interpretation of that situation. Am I clear? And if the mind gives a wrong interpretation, it comes from the lane number one. It is impulsive, habitual, unconscious, and that produces the experiences of frustration, fear, duality, conflict, anger, jealousy, hatred, long list, dissatisfaction. There is no end. And the solution of all is to recognize the peace and happiness are within me, they are my essential nature. Millions of problems, one solution. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see it clearly? Another part that is very important to understand, we cannot have a proxy for peace and happiness. Why? Because peace and happiness are our essential nature. The way I, you are hungry, I cannot eat for you. The same way to think, to imagine that peace and happiness and the love come, will come from the world outside, from the relations. It is just like fooling yourself. <coughs> we cannot have a proxy for it. So if the mind says, no, you are responsible, why don't you sit in front of me, bring a tea for me, hug me, so that at least I feel that you love me. I'm creating a proxy for my peace and love. Not possible. <clears throat> do whatever you want to do. 
Now, it doesn't mean that we should not uh, live in relationship. I'm not saying that. First, we have to take care of the mind. So what should we do? We should listen and learn these principles. One, so once we receive the knowledge, we have to retain the knowledge. The knowledge can only be retained by contemplation and reflection. So you contemplate, you think it over again and again and again. And continue the practice that will help you to bring about a change and give you the right answer <coughs> of the first question that I asked. And I answer with a counter question. So when we contemplate and reflect, we recognize and realize why I get overwhelmed by a particular event in a particular relationship and in the different events that passes in my life since I wake up in the morning until I sleep. So the more you contemplate and reflect, it is the intellect. I'm not talking of any cult or religion. I'm not saying that you go and believe and pray some god or goddesses. No. I'm asking you that it is the intellect visiting you. Let me think it over again and again, over these principles, reflect on it, so that the lane number two becomes active, you jump out of the lane one. You discern, you separate. The moment you separate, <clears throat> means what? In your head, or you can say in your mind, you have separated the thoughts and feelings which are coming from the lane one, which causes the mind to be impulsive and reactive. The moment you feel that sense of discernment and separation, the mind jumps into the lane number three, which is the state of calmness and peace. It is good to separate mind, lane one, mind, you know, both have the thoughts. Remember this, this is very important to understand, very important point. Perhaps I would say the most important point in today's lesson. Whether you are in lane one or two, you have to think. Look at it. Look one example. Lane one says, how crazy this guy is. Lane number two, what I have to do with his or her craziness? It doesn't matter to me. Lane number two. No, in both the cases, we have to think. Now ask, did God ask you to think that this guy is crazy? Did God send you the SMS? Did you realize that it is unwanted, unwelcome thought? But in the lane two, you have to think. The moment that thought comes, oh, what I have to do, you know, it has nothing to do with me. Let him be or her be crazy. You give a break. That is intellect. Are you getting it? In both the lanes, we have the thoughts. Now, did you realize that in one case, it is unwanted, unwelcome thoughts? In other lane, I consciously think, I became aware of the nature of the mind, and I dropped it by thinking otherwise. Clear. Otherwise, what will happen? 
my honey is crazy, my honey is crazy, so you are sleeping. So once these thoughts, that lay number one accumulates millions of the thoughts, it repeats. Next day you wake up in the morning, you start fighting with honey. <laughs> that is the result of lay number one. <laughs> Did you get it? So we are finding the distinction between the lane number one and the two. First distinction, what is common element? We, in both the cases, we, we have a thoughts and thinking. So I recognize, nobody sent me the message, SMS. The guy whom I am blaming that he is crazy, he did not send me the message that, please, when I meet you, you tell me that I am crazy. Do you recognize the unwelcome, unwanted thoughts? How many times we recognize it? <laughs> the more you recognize, the better it is in the journey. Now see the same thoughts in the lane number one, unwanted, unwelcome thoughts. Lane number two, it is decisive. You make a choice, you exercise a choice. Clear? Lay number one and two. So lay number one thoughts with the feelings. We do not know. We get carried away by them is what is unwanted in the mind. Lay number two. Thoughts with the feelings, but the knowledge is there, the right ones, right and good. You don't want anything that is, that jumped into your lane number one unwanted. We are not able to dis discern feelings, love, hate, reaction, dependence, whims and fancies, lane number one. Layer number two, reason, analysis, logic, self-inquiry. Did you understand? Layer number one, all the thoughts are supported by impulses, impulse-driven thoughts. Layer number two, knowledge-driven thoughts. Are you getting it? Say yes. Lane one, irrational, it imagines, it creates a delusion. No, I don't agree with you, honey, and the honey gets upset and reacts. And just after reaction, now you imagine, he or she doesn't love me, she, she doesn't care. This is all imagination, all imagination. You disturb your sleep, you wake up in the morning, you are ready to react. Impulse driven mind. Lay number one. Are you clear? I'm not asking how many times you did this. <laughs> Hani does not mean that only husband, wife. Hani means any second person in your life with whom you interacted. Clear. Impulse driven, knowledge driven. Imagination, mind imagines, mind tricks you, mind deludes you, mind distracts you. Lay number one. Lay number two. Now, what is the reality? Reality guides you. You remain calm in the cool. You have achieved a great length of this journey. Are you clear? This is what our masters says that only the human being out of 8.4 living species, only the human being has a choice of free will, free intellect. I'm capable of receiving and releasing and retaining that knowledge. 
I made it in a, I summarized it. The entire talk is based on only one phrase of the Buddha, or two phrases. One, the word is suffering, and then the Buddha says, know thyself. I am not the lane number one. So when I recognize that I am not the lane number one, then mind says, then who the hell you are? We, can, we start the journey. And we find the real self. <laughs> How simple is it? Or you say it is simple. I reacted yesterday. I was upset, but I did not say anything. I carry, still carry the burden inside me. Why you carry the burden? Are you special? So you wanted to react. If you react, then you will ease the burden. <laughs> Think. That, that is the lane number two, is the thinking. I'm just giving an example. Are you getting it? Are you special? No, I have so much of emotional burden, you know. He or she inserted me yesterday in that event, you know. Uh, you carry the burden, yes. You are a special human being. Lay number one. You imagined. You are in delusion. Are you getting it? That is what the master says. That is why the master says, Sarve bhavantu sukhina. Let everyone be happy. Let everyone be in peace. Let everyone be blessed. Let everyone be. So why we say in the we, we create a thought process in the lane number two to prevent, to dissolve, to destroy what the lane number two imagines and tricking us. It has nothing to do with any person. Outer person may be 100% wrong. <coughs> but my over focus is that how a person outside or a situation outside is dictating my life. And once you don't allow to dictate your life, you're always happy. <laughs> I believe you all are wise. You got it. Let us start our practice. Eyes are closed. And uh, eyes are closed. Let us do it with that clarity and understanding our practice today. Eyes are closed. Adjust and align your body. Adjust and align your body. And check that without Without any discomfort, unease, the position of the body and eyes are closed. So I would say closed eyes, position of the body, lane number one. Lane one is not inviting unwanted thoughts to cause any issue with that position. Then now and now lane number now uh, being comfortable. So even when the lane number one even when the lane number one causes some disturbances, so what we do? We want to, we want to counter it by being comfortable. 
So what we do in being comfortable, learn it so deeply that any time in any situation, mentally, non-verbally, even no one notices, and you can be comfortable in that situation. And it is easy to do it. Look or be aware of neck joint. First is the neck joint. Then experience of sensation, comfort and steadiness. Then look into the space inside. Space or I would say emptiness or blankness. Again and again. You do it millions of times. And you have achieved the result. When and where? 24 by 7. Shoulder joints, be there. Be there. So when you are there, sensation, comfort and steadiness. And then space and awareness, my friends. The entire body. You are looking at the body the way I am looking at your body. You have separated yourself. What is that separation? You have separated the lane one from the lane two. Even at the physical level. So you experience sensation, comfort, and, and steadiness, and then the space there. So by being comfortable. So now we will go a little bit. We see, we see that being carefree. So carefree, what I said, I said, you have already heard many a times, I said, free from all the cares that the lane one do does oh lane one is doing some thoughts and impulsive driven and we replace it we replace it by the mantra sarve bhavantu sukhina you are saying in your mind sarve bhavantu sukhina Third time, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhena. And then we go to the meaning. So you are thinking, you know, I told you, thoughts are common in both lane one and two. I believe you remember. Oh, so thoughts basically, the content of the thought is different. So what is the thought? That is the meaning of this mantra. What is the meaning? Let everyone be happy. But uh, then the lane one says, why any everyone should be happy? Because happiness is of essential nature. Or you can say happiness is the essential nature of all the living species. Everyone is searching for it. But then why the other guy becomes agitated or angry and says me crazy? Because he is not learning Eastern wisdom. So you have a foolproof plan. And that is happening in your mind while living your life in the world outside. I believe you are becoming clear. Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Santu Minar Niramaya Sarve Santu Niramaya Let everyone be let everyone be in the state of well-being. But why? Everyone is seeking the same state. From the elephant to the ant, you just reflect on it. <coughs> you, you show the stick to your pet and they are ready to fight. No, I'm seeking peace. Why the hell? What the hell you are doing? So here, what lane two invites a thought. You see, I told you, thinking invites a thought. Everyone is seeking well-being. Why? Because it is of an essential nature. And what? 
what I am I am treating the part I am treating the part of the Eastern wisdom hence I have to work this way others also are seeking well-being by getting angry and that is or hesitated or hesitated that is known as ignorance i believe i made it very clear to you today sarve bhadrani pashyantu sarve bhadrani pashyantu sarve bhadrani pashyantu let everyone be blessed blessing should follow. why blessing i am alive because of the blessing from the existence i don't know when i'm going to die so i have no right to be angry or hesitated or fight with anyone in this world because they have a right to exist are you getting it so you are replacing you are countering the thoughts, the impulsive driven thoughts from the lane one. Ma kashche dukh bhag bhave. Ma kashche dukh bhag bhave. Ma kashche dukh bhag bhave. Let none suffer from any misery in this world. Why no one should be miserable? Because that is what the existence is seeking for everyone. <clears throat> How it is seeking? Be in tune with the existence. That is what the Eastern wisdom and that is what I'm learning. So you see that you brought a sense of emotional Maturity, are you getting it, my friends? A sense of emotional maturity. With that maturity, we continue. <coughs> We can continue to purify the mind. How simple, uh, just start with a deep, silent end. De start with a deep, silent end, slow breathing. So you engage the mind. What do you engage the mind first? You inhale into the belly. The belly expands and then you engage, engage the mind to continue inhaling into the chest, first belly, then chest, and breathe out. Breathe out from the belly and the chest, then the chest. So you are engaging the mind consciously. Engaging the mind consciously. Any engagement consciously. Any engagement is conscious, it is lane number two. But if you do not practice with a clarity and understanding, that is, that will not work in your life. And that is what is happening. You are simply inhaling first into the belly, you expand it, but you continue inhaling, then into the rib case. It is only one deep, silent, slow breath. <clears throat> and one deep, silent, slow exhalation. First from the belly, then from the rib case. But now it is very clear. <clears throat> Your understanding is clear. Knowledge. What is happening? So knowledge is realized. Knowledge is that is your understanding is realized. 
by the deep silent slow breathing and that will leave you in a state of calmness it is so easy i can tell you my master used to say that eastern wisdom is common sense common sense not an extraordinary sense not an impulsive sense eastern wisdom is a common sense approach to life not an extraordinary or nonsense extraordinary is highly intellectual it is dry creates a gap between so called theory and practice and you already know that nonsense is impulsive driven impulsive driven elusive imagined approach <clears throat> And now leave this also. Let watch how the deep silent, how watch how the deep silent and slow breath returns to normal. And you are aware of the breath. And then we go for look at the head and the neck. <coughs> Look at the head and the neck, sensation, relaxation and stillness. Look, feel, experience the right arm. You are not moving the right arm. <clears throat> if I say so, the mind has gone to the right arm. Which mind? Lane number two. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Mind moves to the, lane, uh, to the left arm. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. The moment I say so, you have an experience. <clears throat> I'm not saying that you imagine that experience. You just witness it. It is there. The chest and the valley and the spine, the entire middle portion of the body, sensation, relaxation, and stillness. The right leg, sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Left leg. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. The entire body. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. So you see the outermost layer of our body is the physical body and it is already in the state of sensation, relaxation and stillness. What is the second layer is the breath. So we and what is the third layer is the mind. The first layer is the body. Is the physical body if I say so physical body. Second layer is the breath and third layer is the mind. Normally we say lane one or lane two. Now if you engage the mind 
on the breath awareness lean to prevents impulsive driven mind how to do it no don't ask me it is so you just look at you simply look at the breath that is going and coming in going out coming in you know the breath is going in and coming out then you feel the sensation of the breath you know the sensation is taking place and third you do not change the rate and the rhythm of the breath where is that that is breath mindfulness where i said breath mindfulness where is this breath mindfulness it will take you away from the lane one result lane three calmness peace even if there are thoughts are coming I have told you many a times, lane one will continue to have the thoughts until it is fully dissolved. But they are too far away from you because you are already in the lane two. They are too far to have any dictating effect, effect if I say so. And that results in the state of the calmness and the peace without doing anything. That is what is the journey. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind on the right hand, your mind on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside the palms. Be there, note your experiences, we'll share our experiences. To progress, bring the hands down now. How are you, Sophie? Hi, I'm very good. good. I, in the first part of the practice, I, I didn't fall asleep, but I didn't, I, I heard your voice, but the instruction didn't come on, but I was completely calm. I didn't have any, any thoughts. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. That and is then, what I, yeah, then, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And, and then, then I, I, started I started hearing the instruction, <laughs> and it, it got into my, to my mind that I was very, very calm. Very calm, mm -hmm. very calm. Yeah. That is what happens. This is what I expressed that. You may have millions of the thoughts accumulated in the lane when the time comes. A state of the mind comes when you don't even worry, care, you don't even hear. That is an expression of the calmness. That is the expression. You told me that there is no thought at all. Beautiful. How are you, Mead? Oh, 
I found, found that, that this week, week has, has been, been a challenging, challenging week for me, and I've been, been stuck, stuck in lane, lane one. one. Oh. Yes. yes, and, and I, I got, got very, very clear, clear during the time that you spoke, and I meditated, that I'm moving, moving over into lane, lane two now. now. And that I got, is yeah. what we understood today. So you see that it, oh yeah, the week is challenging. The week causes you the problem. Yes. 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 Uh. <laughs> uh, so week is full of problems. Uh, the week brought the storm in your mind. It's all the all fault, the fault of, the of the week. All the fault of the week. Oh. <laughs> that is, so you remained in the lane one during this week. The moment you switch to the lane number two, the life changes. Yes. That is what we discussed today clearly. How are you, John? <laughs> Hey, Gary. Um, I, think I think I successfully, successfully dismissed, dismissed most of the, of the thoughts, thoughts in lane, lane one. one. So Beautiful. Very happy. So I was very happy. Was very happy. happy. Including the fire station. <laughs> they, still they still don't listen, listen to me, but it's all right. Oh, I love it. That is the way one should switch from the lane one to the two. And by understanding is very important. Then comes practice. If the understanding is not clear, <clears throat> as media is saying that it was a challenging week. So only for the me, the challenging week from outside causes the stress and the suffering for the me. So it is the part of the lane number one. There are you, to realize. How are you, Anne? Uh, unmute. Have you not? <laughs> yes, now it is done. All right, All right. it changes, changes the whole translation of the picture. Now I can hear you. You can hear me. Okay. I can see you. I can hear you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had. I, a, um, I feel I very, very fine, fine, very calm. Very calm. Though my thoughts uh, just wandered away. Yeah. Uh, so, so I, I had, had to, to uh, come, come back, back to, to myself. myself. Though no, nothing, nothing really, really was disturbing, disturbing me. me. I don't know. It, it yeah. just happened. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Well, you are right, right in a way. That's a beautiful expression. The moment we discern, <clears throat> we switch to the lane number two, even if there are millions of the thoughts, they do not disturb us. That's right. So, my mind imagines Charlie is here, is here and sharing her experiences. Hi, Girish. I'm okay. I'm fine. Yeah. So that is all for today. We will meet again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.